Jim Bernavi and TSM are still trying to attempt the same result in this group as well. Here we go then. We look towards the buy of VP. I'm predicting four sets of armor and one player on the smoke grenade, and that is going to be Snacks' time. As I said, you would expect him to go towards the inside site, but let's see how this one unfolds to the T-Tide. Well, expect them to go to the inside site. Instead, they've gone ladder. They're working into outer. There's four players already there. And four HP that's left on Lagia. Taz on five now, but... Kills going the way of Forrest and Michael Lele outweigh that of Pasha's, so it's a two-man advantage. Pasha's gonna come around though and find Fox. It's looking good with the bomb already down. It's left to a two versus two. And Taz with that five HP now has to find himself a way to be useful. Unfortunately, it's not to be. And Snacks, he'll follow immediately after into the grave. That's gonna make it one nothing Team Kingwin. And they do get the opening pistol yet again. Last game they split pistols 1-1. One -one. The Kingwin starting off. Strong. That was Virgil Pro just trying to overwhelm CT. Um, King with CT side with one smoke to the right side of the bomb train and then getting the bomb down instantly. Trying to take over quad and all over the map, but Kingwin able to stay forth and uh, come victorious from that 2 on 2 in the end. Yep, they had a very passive setup which worked perfectly for them there. The silent USP is a long range, very formidable. Stayed back, saw the smoke coming down, made a couple of uh, entrance kills. So VP now with PT50s, haven't forced into the round, so. You'd assume they're going to be going for AK's next round, but you can see them setting up two smokes here, and uh, we'll be looking to get the bomb down once again. Well, if they can get a bomb down once again, it would be hugely beneficial for them. The P250 is the only upgrade. Dennis going to rotate to upper, try and spot where VP is going to head, and he spotted up at least one. As there is pressure being put on from Pasha, or rather from Neo, excuse me, Neo's gone down, it's Dennis that finds him, but they are close enough to the train to get that bomb in position, does it happen? Yes, it was low HP for Snacks, a need could have prevented it, but it's not to be. As now they'll attempt the retake, they are getting closer and closer, and less and less opponents in their way of doing it, Pasha's the last alive, he goes down. Fox thought there was still a second one up for a second, but they'll get this defuse. Yeah, you can just notice how King Wind was scared about a Tech 9 rush coming inside because they were playing so far back. Like the trade they're giving there is the fact that Virtus is most likely going to get the plant, which they did, which is going to enable for them to get an even better buy for this round than they would have without that bomb. Yep, that was purely the objective there. Get the bomb down, get a decent buy going into this round. And this is something we haven't seen from them the last couple of days, but King Wind are more than aware than this. They pick up the AWP onto Forest now. They are going to keep, actually, I was going to say keep the P90, but Fox decides to have their last minute upgrade there. So. They are going to be ready for this, and what are the T's going to do? Are they going to present that fast, aggressive play we know so well from them? Well, the five AKs, they are going to head out toward Ivy. Now, last night we talked a lot about this Ivy presence from VP, and Navi did a very good job of shutting it down. The map still went 16-14 in the end of VP, but it was back and forth, and it, a lot of it had to do with Navi's good defense in this position. Let's see if Tingling, Kingwin, excuse me, can take a note from that playbook. So far, though, it is going to be the opening kill. 2VP. Pash is the one to pick it up. He's been on fire all evening. Three kills right now. And we're only on round three, and they've yet to pick up a round. Not a bad performance from him. Green round for him so far. Getting the first pick. Now going into a full-on set piece. This should be a foregone conclusion for them. Playing this round perfectly so far. And the alley's still at that IV position to try and cause nuisance. As Pash is going to push down past the trains into hell. Forrest will be spotted if he's unaware, and he is unaware, but Michael Lele bails him out from control room. Nice shot indeed, and now Snacks will join in. He's got to. He needs to come up and support his teammates who are slowly deteriorating as Forrest now with the op is going to pick up two. Taz gets back into Michael Lele, but there's still a problem on this train. They can't yet go for the bomb plant. As Neo will find Forrest, Dennis gets taken down, or excuse me, takes him down in response, but gives away his position. So Taz, who's on top of the train, needs to make this peak work and does. And Virtus Pro with the early buy get an early round. So not as clean as I thought it would be there. After getting that first pick and executing out, getting plays onto the outside area, he thought that would be a pretty easy hold for them. But Michael Lely up in heaven there, getting a brutal uh, scout kill. And Forrest as well holding his position off pretty well. I'm not going to see the kills there, but he got some decent frags. But VP do find themselves on the scoreboard now. Yeah, what you have to understand is I don't think Forrest would have gotten those two kills unless Michael Lely got that one pick from when yep. he was up on CT Tower. So just one kill being as impactful as it was. So you see the CT's now full stack inside onto the lower ramp. Well, the T's going to be ready for this. Oh, Taz is going to scout that. Spotted one so far, at least nade to go down. That'll do more damage. It won't, actually. It bounces in 
an unfortunate angle for him. So Forrest gets away with it. And they'll fall back, rotating in tandem. Three players already to CT spawn. They're actually going to go toward the outback. As Pasha's waiting inside this smoke, dodges that flash coming through, manages to dodge his way inside the train and let them all pass by. He only gets the one kill. That's all he needs to do because Bialy and Neo found the others. And it's left to just Michael and the Force are actually going to follow in the footsteps. Same approach. And same approach. Similar results. Maybe they'll get one. No, nope, Pasha's smart enough not to repeat that. So a pretty easy round for VP there. Full eco from Kinguin. Stacking towards the inside. They were going all in there, hoping for the inside push from VP. Didn't happen. Rotated back from CT spawn. And uh, didn't really make much of the round, to be honest. But now, look at the buy they're presenting to the, the table this time. The gear and Michael Ailey picking up the AWP. It's interesting that Forrest wouldn't be picking up that warp roll, considering that's his secondary mm -hmm. kind of position in Nip. But the gear thinks he can step up the plate. What can he do with this? And Forrest did actually have it last round. Or rather not last, excuse me, two yeah. rounds ago when he managed to get that double toward the end. And then Taz still able to clutch it out. Well, the Giet does, ends up contributing with it. He finds the first. Now Michael Ailey is going to use that second one to good effect on Pasha. Frank's going back and forth in the middle of it until Neo will take Forrest and stabilize things. Pure madness. It's a death match right now. <laughs> yeah, it is. And Michael Ailey's found Neo as he was already pre-scoped onto that ladder position. He'll now... Change it back over to the third alley and watch down toward that main connector. Little as you know, he's getting colder rather than warmer. And in fact, colder still as he runs all the way away from what he's intending to find. Snacks with the bomb, who is now in the outback, just previously vacated. He may be able to sneak in to A. The thing, though, like you said not to, is just the quick rotations. Michael Lilly's in that Z connector. He'll be on top of him before that bomb plant's even finished. He has got the AWP, so if he was going to plant anywhere, outside would be the favorable decision. Well, he's going to go for it using the smoke. That'll help him, and Michael Lele's not going to take a fast approach at this. He'll wait for Dennis to get in position from ladder, but Snacks still has some room to work with. Molotov now as well on Z. Needs to be careful pushing through the smoke not to overexpose himself to Dennis. Instead, he's going to use his own smoke before completely disintegrates to run back down and get into safety of the alleyway as he comes back out Michael Lilly hears him coming well played good coverage Kingwin taking no chances and they'll get the defuse well balloons could have been a pretty big risk to be honest that Michael Lilly missed that shot that was round over but confident in his position there takes him down and uh, Kingwin bounced straight back into this but VP will not be giving up at this juncture they will getting another buy onto the board 3-2 in favor of Kingwin but it's not over yet for them. They do manage to pick up the double up setup once again, but Pasha picking up AWP this time, and Snacks getting out of the scout. So we talked about the roles changing recently with MVP, but it seems like Neo maybe not feeling too confident today and actually handing it back over to Pasha. That day. Big round coming up when it comes to economy for going down further on his half as well. Whoever's going to win this, is, it's going to be worth a couple more. Yeah, this is break for both teams. And it's inside push. Dennis shutting it down. Taz drops. Had the bomb, Michael Lele comes over, so you got rid of one op. Well, guess what? There's another one immediately in its place. And that will slow things. Virtus Pro now taking the bomb back to the opposite site. Look at Giving up on the approach. This is dead right, though. Ligia's position is brilliant. We said he was quiet in the first map. He's got two kills in this one, one of which was with the op. Add it to a third, and that one's high impact. Takes the initial peak. Thought he might go and try and hold that, knowing it was a plant situation, but he doesn't need to. Forrest and Fox will clean up the rest, and Kingwin will add to another round. It's four. Yeah, that pinch from Liga, even if he only got one kill, still his positioning at that point situation was basically so that there was no chance for Virtus Pro to win that. Like, no chance at all. Well, I don't think VP approached the round very well, to be honest. Just running down lower ramp and giving the AWPers two pretty simple frags. I don't know if it's smoking or flashing going into the site. I think they were going for the surprise factor there, but yeah. to be honest, it seemed like it was pretty simple kills for the AWP players, and that really did decide the round. We saw Liga having a very small play there, backstabbing. Could have stopped the bomb as well had he committed a little bit more, but... Kingwin do pick up two rounds in a row now, and like you said, that's going to force VP onto an eco this time. Four players heading towards Ivy. They have got P250s in hand, just looking to swarm the CT player on that side of Ivy. And the is that player, which, take with a grain of salt, might be the player you want there after his first map performance, but he stepped it up a little bit so far in this one. As Forrest wants to lurk forward, Neo is in that corner. Forrest has a hint that he might be. 
So he is being cautious of it, but like, yeah, he's got to wait it out. He's got two this time, so that's a bit of the task, but this pistols will overwhelm him eventually as Bialy, the third one through, gets the kill. Forrest responds. He does find Neo exactly where he anticipated that he was hiding, and now switching to the USP. He'll run back over. Actually, I take that back. Fox to stole that kill out from the barrel of his gun, but King wouldn't pick up a round again. Yeah. Now guns come back out. We talked about Ligia having to step up there, manage and get two frags. That was all he needed, to be honest. One for one wouldn't have been good enough. That two is absolutely fine. You can see a nice little replay there. He's managed to get two pretty simple kills, but they all count. And now we can see the gear picking up the auto sniper. Three sniper rifles for the CT side, none for the T side. So the auto sniper is actually very viable and trained. You can see this is actually a fast tactic coming up for as well. I love this. I love this auto sniper position. This is like get right back on the first version of train on CSGO. Fire away. And he's not stopping. So don't go that alleyway. Let's find an alternate approach onto the bomb site. Dear Betty in the box in my GPS, we need a detour. Tell me where to go. And apparently, go would be take right here and head in between the trains. That's where Snacks has gone. Neo's managed to get into hell regardless. He's going to find Fox. Nice shot with the AK. Looking to do damage as well. Look, he has down to 15 bombs planted. VP with a great chance here. If they can get themselves into safety and post plant, and they're doing more damage, Neo has to take down Legia eventually. Snacks will find Forrest. But somehow Michaelele survives that initial Ooh. duel, but not to be any longer. Neo's got the accuracy with that AK. Dennis, well, he'll be the menace, but not for long. Or will he? Nice shot on the second one. I don't think he's going to save much more if he gets this shot as well. Okay. This guy's ridiculous. The round's already gone. You can hear the bomb about to expire, but it took four members to finally take down Dennis. So costly for VP, who we saw have to save immediately before that. So that's actually pretty crucial. There you saw Kingman take a really cautious approach to the fact that Virtus Pro was rushing. They took it really far back. They were playing on back lane, but it, it ended up costing, actually, Kingman. That came so much ground to Virtus Pro planning and executing positioning that after the situation just became unbearable for Kingman. Yeah, that's the problem with having three sniper rifles. If you try to retake a bomb out of two orbs, although Dennis did very well to get three or four kills there, he's not going to win you rounds, unfortunately. Now you can see them having the one AWP saved, but VP definitely have the advantage going into this round. And this pressure onto IV. Legia walks back out into it, trying to spam as well, but unfortunately Bialy beat him to it and therefore took him down to 23. Meanwhile, though, Michael Ellis found snacks. That'll help. And Forrest is going to take that map control as well, getting in toward this main connector after that kill ensued. So he's now got to read the thing as though they're split. So how does Forrest play this? He's going to go all the way out in toward T-Spawn. If they fall back, yep, directly into his cross there. He taps. Oh. oh, my God. What a shot from Pasha. He took his time, Forrest, to make sure he hit every single shot. But the M4, neither of them were head shots. And therefore, Pasha, still with a good amount of HP, 37, <laughs> just obliterated him. And as a result, so stays alive long enough to take down Michael Lele. How that could have turned the round when we see the effect that Pasha now has. Incredible stuff, and Pasha with a third kill. How amazing would Forrest have taken him down? That would have changed everything. So we talked about Pasha being a force to be reckoned with on this map, and he just showed you exactly why. Forrest looking like he had a free kill on it on the screen there, but not not managing to make it. One AC flick shot from Pasha takes him down. He manages to get two more after that, and that's a huge round for them to win as well. You can see Kingwin forced down to a full acre this time. Neo picking up the AWP, I stabilized their money for this round at least. But Pasha really is firing on all the cylinders now. Huge round from him, and a huge round in the context of the game as well. And he keeps firing as well. Takes down Fox to open up the round. Shots fired from Pasha onto Forrest. So again, he comes up a little bit short, but significantly more damage with the pistol than with the M4 last time as Pasha's left on 4 HP. Neo and Snacks will pick up kills. And Dennis all by his lonesome. Just trying to find anyone who dare be overcommitted. And they're not going to search in that position this time. Five men up. Good efficient round for VP. This will start to build their bank back up as Snacks was only 400 post blind in this round at 2350 for three players. You know, Taz and Bialy. Don't make the same mistake twice. Remember last time they chased Dennis? Yeah, but this time he's only equipped with the Desert Eagle. I don't think he's going to be quite a scary prospect. Just killing him, taking any money off him at this stage would be great for the T side. I don't think it's going to happen, though. But we come to a very important juncture of the game, considering Team Kingwin now 
won't have an AWP. They've been relying on Makaleli especially to get them opening picks. And uh, they'll be doing five rifles this time, only one kit. Actually make it two. And they're not too much utility to play over as well. So now it kind of is bouncing back in the favor of VP. And Neo's going to run it in, or they all are. They're heading there quickly. So they head toward ladder. Forrest is also going to be aggressive. He's already below them. So if they throw a misplay here whatsoever, he'll be able to spot it. The flash was not only spotted, but also hit the wall. But his forward position is able to dodge that out. He fired a few bullets, so now they know he's down there, which does limit their movement. We saw them get on his lower ramp before and get completely shut down by the AWPs. They're not going to be a threat this time. And it looks like the execution on the inside will be coming in now. There's no Molotov from King Lee there. This is a problem here. Yeah, because now they won't be able to slow down this push on the bottom of the ramp. But Mike Lilly's going to go through that smoke using his own flash. Does hit them, but can't spot them. And as a result, Bialy picks up too. Maybe looking for more as well as that bomb will get planted. Pasha's still waiting at the top of the ladder. So Forrest has pretty much waited the entire round in that same small confined area and hasn't had any ability to move. Pasha's in fact going to chase him to go one further. Luckily, Legia spots that coming. And therefore, Forrest is able to get away with not only his gun, but Legia will keep a hold of his for a little bit longer as well. Fox is the next one that will be in threat. He's inside CT and he's aware of Neo. So one more gun lost for VP, but like you say, crucial round now going to go to Virtus Pro and guns. They need to be held right now for Team Kingwin. Yep. Great example of, of how, uh, how much harder it is as a CT to haul off a straight up play like. Oh, that's desperate. We just saw from Virtus Pro when you don't have any Molotovs. There's no means for you to really slow him down unless you get a spot on flash. Especially if you don't have the anchor of the AWP, at least getting that one or two frags that they're crossing to the bomb site. You're just losing there. You can't have all five players there. It's a five on two situation, essentially. If you don't have the Molotovs to even sh shut out some of the key areas of that uh, execution, very hard to hold off. It looks like we're going to see that fast mid play. We see quite a lot. And then Neo will be leading the charge here. Wow. Gets it totally blind, I think. Yeah, it's a remarkable shot. And Neo, does he get another? Does Michael Hele caught with a nade out? Not expecting his presence quite so soon as Legia will get back. So good to see him stepping up a little bit more in this map. Up to eight kills on par with the rest of the team. But it's Pasha. Taz, though, takes down Denison. All right, Pasha falls into Legia. The bomb might go down, but two lives lost in the process. It leaves Neo having to take down Forrest in the last Legia to go down to Neo again. So can we have can we have Pasha's POV from that last round? <laughs> He I was trying to heard knife stabs coming. Yep, out. he was trying to knife 100 HP leg, yeah. Okay, interesting. Well, <laughs> again, Neo really is stepping up this game, along with uh, Pasha as well. But Neo having a very strong night once again. He's looking good for my fantasy team, so thank you very much. And now we can see the CT team. Famous is coming out. No utility player whatsoever. And this is where it will crumble for them. And I predict VP getting the rest of these rounds, to be honest with you. Neo's going to push through with this op. Waiting for someone to walk into him and does Fox. Wrong way to look. Wrong place, wrong time. Forrest getting two in response, though. We'll bring it back just a little bit more. But Virtus Pro, oh, Pasha had the right approach, but no idea Michael Lilly was so close. Bialy's there for the trade, but stabbed in the back immediately after by Dennis. So Bomb recovered in its safe spot back toward T-Spawn, and it's a one-on-one. -on -one. Heads up, duel both on 100 HP. Playing for the same bomb site. As Dennis is waiting. Oh, he's definitely heard him coming forward. Dennis just has to bait this out. He's in perfect position for when this plant starts, but does Neo know that he's so close? He may not. So far, the damage is going to go against, but Neo he does go down immediately wow. after. Recovery shot from Dennis. Wow, that was a, a round we thought they had no chance of getting into. Comes down to a one-on-one. -on -one. Neo making the headshot with the P250 as well, but it's not quite enough. Four HP remaining on the CT player, but a huge round for them to win. It's not going to knock VP onto an eco yet, but... It does help them out, but losing so many kills again, they're going to be on the back foot. Michael Lady has got the AWP this time, though, so there is uh, a silver lining going for this round. Grouping up inside a main right now, trying to find an entry for VP. And they still only have a one round lead on the T side, but we saw them have a struggle on the similar side last night. Still close it out. It's going to go back to Forrest, who's been absolutely. Pivotal and is subbing in for this team this evening as Bialy will eventually put him down, but not before he gets two kills. You know, with the op is looking to where the bomb site Taz has dropped. So it's Bialy Fox looking to make a case to tie this game. It's left to just Neo, 9 HP and the op to work with. Bomb is in his hand, so he'll have a chance to place it. But Michael Lele is going to get 
over to his far left as he gets down toward a three, and Neo still has Fox immediately in front of him, so both angles covered. They should be able to line this up, and Fox, in fact, is just going to have Neo walk immediately into him. Yeah, we've seen Neo the last couple of days have some huge, close but no cigar clutch moments here, and uh, that could have been another one. How do you find that kill in the connector? Not meant to be, and Kingwin get their second round on the trot. And we can see the replay here from Forrest. He has been stepping up in these uh, close encounter rounds when they are forced by, essentially. But two huge frags there towards main entrance. And it uh, looks like Kingwin have the opportunity now to potentially win the half as they go back in with the dual up setup. And it seems like Neo will be on the Force Tech 9 as well. Taz headshot at Michael Lely. That gives. Promise to the entry on inner, but they haven't committed fully to it. They've got two players at Ivy as well. Bomb's way back at T-spawn, so still just trying to annihilate the defense before they even have to face them as Dennis will get back. It's Neo that goes down, and Lagia is holding the alley again, but hell given up. A simple smoke allows Snacks to push forward and aim on to Dennis, not even worry about Lagia. Yeah, Snacks is a monster playing player when he's playing through that quad area. Always being a problem for the CTs. Like, yeah, walking in, and Pasha was already boosted up, manages to catch him off. He had no idea that he was above. He found the kill immediately before, but it's nullified. 8 HP for Pasha as he's tagged up through the edge of the wall. Snacks, though, on the T side, has made his way into control room, and Forrest has no idea that he would be there. Why would he expect that? As Taz going to try and look down this alley late again. That's the third player from VP to get in that position in the round that it works. It's eight rounds for VP. There's our head-to-head. -head. Not bad from Dennis. Pretty good showing for Kingman, to be fair. Winning the pistol, getting seven rounds on the CT half. If I think back to the major, I think NIP got five rounds against VP. Oh, no, sorry, they actually won the half, didn't they? It was 10-5 in their favor. Yeah. So that was the problem. So it looked like they had a very strong uh, CT style going into the second half is when this is where the, the VP Fortress comes into play, right? So they're so strong on the CT setup. It's very difficult to hold them off. So King Gwyn actually doing a pretty decent job. but Especially when you're, when you're playing slower. They're really good at snacks, I believe it is, who plays at E-Box. He's very good at it. Like, the way they... How they use their util utilities and nades, everything. It's just that they preserve them very well. And they're not just throwing them for the for the sake of it. Instead, they, they just wait till the last moment and they then throw the Molotov at you. And it's making it that much harder for you to make any kind of an attack. So Dennis and Fox suited up. Forrest on a P250. But Dennis already gone down because he doesn't have head armor. He just had the chest and has his Fox. So both of the armored players, not going to be a factor. In fact, this force is the only one known for his pistol rounds to do anything at all. And VP completely just obliterate them on the entry. I don't even know what analysis I can give you there. Just bloodbath from the outside. Bombside just running out, getting completely owned with the USPs. I think they would have done better just going the simple play. Rush inside, let's just make the simple. And they went for the challenging outside bombside. And you have to be very structured to be able to pull that one off. Neo opening it up there. Fantastic USP shots. And look at this crossfire. They've got shocks. Sorry, Shocks, uh, Snacks, and Neo and Pasha uh, raining down on them with the USBs there. So great stuff there. And we go into round number 17. Taz very aggressively playing at inner right now with Snacks. We can see with the shotgun has also got up closer to the ladder. Flash goes over. Snacks hoping someone gets close enough for that shotgun to just simply be one tap, but... Speaking of, Dennis is going to use his Deagle to take down the alley. We saw Pasha use this P2, or rather, excuse me, P90 last night. It's a good effect in the second round on their CT side. So far, the same results. Taz going to use his as well. So Legia goes down. These P90s just menacing right now. The def or the offense, excuse me, of Team King when Michael Ailey, last alive, has bomb, and there's no one in B, so he could still get a bomb plant out of this if he's quick enough. I don't think he has been. Taz is already here. But what a shot, Michael Ailey. The Deagle absolutely on fire, and now it's down to a one-on-one. -on -one. Thankfully, Pash is quick enough to it before Michael Ailey can reset. But that's a pretty impressive anti- or rather eco-round, excuse me. Yeah, getting those two Deagle headshots as, uh, to finish it off as well. That could have been dangerous for VP. Let's just take a, a quick look at that. Jumping as well, I think. I think Taz is in the air. Bang. Boom. See ya. Catch you later. Yeah, yeah, so he gets the second kill as well. Wasn't meant to be for the final frag, but it's still oh, out of ammo as well. He actually did look the right direction. He just didn't have the ammo left. Could have been beautiful. Taz is now going to push forward another P90. And this just means he can keep going, not stop, of course. Almost takes shoots at Bialy as he's so into the moment. 
And speaking of, Viali will close it out. Now 11 for VP. But the thing is, we are going into the gun round. And they had to rebuy all those SMGs. Luckily, they got enough kills with them that they'll be able to upgrade oh. as needed. They've got the two P90s still, and these are such scary weapons, especially on maps like Train. Pushing Ivy, for example, with one flashbang, or even going up the lower ramp. As we know, Taz can do so deadly. Um, it will be a very interesting round to see what VP bring to the table here. Expect an explosive one, nonetheless. Oh, it's off to slow down the main push. Fiali into the ladder, losing a lot of damage, so he needs to be careful because he's in the open on the retreat. They chase him down as a result, and Forrest, correctly so, will get that kill, but it allows Pasha to push up in through quad in the meantime. In fact, he'll slide out a little bit confused right now, thinking there was going to be an enemy there, but Snacks has already killed Dennis. It's left the forest. He gets flashed up and tries to spray, despite not having vision. And the blind man with a gun, unfortunately not able to get it done. His sense is not heightened enough otherwise. Michael Haley, meanwhile, though, again doing damage late in the round. It's still not going to matter. Virtus Pro will take the first gun. Yeah, Virtus Pro is just so good at playing aggressive on, on CT, on, on guard, uh, making it that hard. Diali and, and Pop just <clears throat> taking those initial picks and then snacks on the bros, making sure there's no entrance from teammate either. So it is it is a hard task to try and get rounds on Virtus Pro on train T well, side. Now it's 12-7, another eco once again. No force by here from King when you actually see one set of armor for Fox. And uh, it seems like all players will be going towards the inside side. Maybe an outside fake with a the smoke there. We see one player lurking around, but this should be a pretty simple cleanup for the CTs as they show some pushing towards either of Pasha's going to take down Forrest. Snacks just making sure no one's going to get in through A main easily, but that's not the problem right now. The problem is the inner bomb sight, and Neo, he's there. He's taking down Ligi on the first shot, puts himself in the open, and Neo is just looking incredible tonight. Absolutely. He really is been playing out of his mind the last two days as well. So fantastic stuff from him, and he pushes him ever closer to match point, actually, here. We'll be going to 2-0, but King would do react now. Michael Eddy and Dennis picking up the AWPs. We saw them do this yesterday as well. They'd like to do a double up setup on the T side. Pretty unorthodox, but it can work in these sort of scenarios, just trying to get the picks, and then hopefully utilizing your individual skill to get your rounds that way. Michael Eddy flash, but not blinded at Ivy. He's solo. They'll battle one-on-one -on -one with Bialy. The rest of the action will be in the center of the site. Quad, Hell, both occupied right now by counter-terrorists, Snacks and Pasha. Taz pushed up, though, from inner, as we can see. Does give a bit more information, a bit more confidence. Playing this far forward means that even if they want to rotate over, they'll have time on Taz's call to get a support system in place. And Neo would be that support. He's inside Z Connector. Taz is going to fall off this after getting the first kill. Smart play. Not give away too much as Legia does respond. But there's Pasha with two. Bialy, patience is a virtue, finds Michael Ailey and an AWP. Thank you very much for the next round as Dennis is the last alive. Last time he had an op, killed three before the fourth got him. We'll see if VP can be more effective this time. Yeah, he's got the bomb as well. She's going to be lying in wait. I don't think he's going to have the same success here. Very passive play from BP. Spotted already. Run further. Wants to maybe get this bomb down now because he is committing deep enough into this site, but Taz was there. Started the round aggressively on B, stays there, and it pays off. Good round by Taz, good round by VP. That was a good investment of double ops and get just one pick, one kill overall, whole yeah. round. And I think it was even the op that got the kill. I think it's normally <laughs> when you get to this stage of the game, it's like you run out of ideas. How can we possibly get a round of VP? <laughs> and you can see, look at Bialy, that patience he had inside of him. He's staying to walk behind that box the whole time and uh, picking up the frag comes one of the AWPers there. But you can see Neo now, he'll be going inside with the AWP. We see him do this quite a lot, and he normally makes a frag out of it as well. This is where Taz was last time. In fact, Taz is going to run by him now that Neo hasn't spotted. Very low HP for Pasha, but again, he's reminding me more and more of Snacks in this rifle roll. His ability to push through undetected, Ooh. and Taz almost kills him. He's so undetected. As Forrest comes out, and thank you very much for the confusion. He'll take both of them. Bomb's gone down. This isn't over, or at least going to go to match point quite so soon. As it is a one versus three for Neo. He's found one. It was one versus four. Nade's now going to do more damage. He sees Michael Ailey on that ladder, but does he see him in control? Ligia. Shot by the AK. Yeah, that was a Ligia's round. He put, just pushed straight up. He went through the smoke into CT Link. 
got an easy kill from behind and another up, one up from up to CT Tower. That fast pace seemed to uh, really work out. It felt like Virtus Pro actually got got a caught off guard really badly there on that round. Yeah, we saw the team kill almost coming in from Taz to uh, Pasha there as well. It's so a little bit of confusion, but still they're in a very strong position. And the T's looking to go a little bit faster this time, perhaps. Well, it's Taz that again will be in that position. They've got the player in snacks underneath the ladder. Does he go immediately? Bombs above it if he gets that information at least. But Legia was waiting as he tried. Tried to throw himself into a quick rotation position, but Neo's waiting, and he'll find Forrest. It's back at Outer, though, so they've changed the pace and changed the direction. Miali, as a result, will get another kill on Michael Illy, and it's turned back in favor of Virtus Pro. Smoke's already off on the lower ramp side, but that doesn't mean that Taz will be blocked out by it. He's on top of the site. We saw him from this place last time, and it's a double kill again. Bomb's not able to be planted, because Legia had to get off that just to be able to save his own life. It does eventually go down, but it will now be match point. Yep. Taz, Taz is so good inside. That's what I was literally about to say. Taz, <laughs> he can play every sort of methodology there. Like pushing up aggressively, falling back, playing passively, seems to find two kills every single time. And the good thing about him as well, he always gets a kill before he goes back. And then normally if he does get a kill, he'll stay alive as well. It's very difficult to play against. And he really does define how you should play that side. So fantastic stuff from him, pushing them ever closer now. And they're on to the series point here as uh, we move on. Back at our head-to-head -head throughout the evening because we are on the potential last round of our first series. 13 kills versus 14. Not too bad. Slightly more deaths for Dennis. Unsurprising considering the scoreline. Headshot percentage was heftily in the favor of the alley, though. Good shot by Snacks to open things off onto Legia, but Neo's looking for more with the op. Gets it as well. As Michael Lele shows himself too soon, and I'm afraid it's all but done. Nip magic. Not going to be able to do it quite in the same fashion as uh, it had it dealt against them from TSM last night. Yeah, I think you're absolutely right there. Although it was an interesting game, it wasn't a complete run.